it tested me It tells me that I'm never ever alone I'm learning how J-E-S-U-S Came down to us and gave his best Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this Let's go When you ask, he cares When you see, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door When you ask, he cares When you see, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door Tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J-E-S-U-S came down to us and gave his best. Out of doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need. So I remember this. Let's go. When you ask, he cares. When you see, he's there. When you knock, knock. When you seek, he's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, he cares. When you seek, he's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. Once upon a time and tell a fun made up story. What's your favorite storybook about? It could be about princesses or puppy dogs, superheroes or sea creatures. I love puppy dogs. But the Bible is different from these storybooks because it's all about God and it's true. You may have heard already lots of stories from the Bible. Jonah and the big fish, Jesus feeding the 5,000, Joshua and the walls of Jericho. The Bible has lots of stories within its pages, but it is also one big story. That one big story is the story of God and his people. The story starts in the book of Genesis, which is all about the very beginning, how God made the universe and the first people on earth. We learn about Noah and the flood, Abraham and his family, Jacob, who wrestled with God, and his son Joseph, who had a coat of many colors, who later became an important ruler in Egypt. And the Bible is different from all other books. It's not just a book. It's the greatest story ever told, friends. So now we're going to take a look at our big message and, and see what funny man Dan and Max are up to. And I'll see you back here when you're done.
Funny Man Dan. And I'm Max. And we're so glad you could be with us today. I can see all of my friends. Yay! That's right, Max. We're here to have fun, explore the Bible, and learn all about the big point. What is today's big point, Max? FMD is scared of spiders. That's right. FMD is scared of spiders! <laughs> gotcha! Oh, you sure did, Max. But we still don't know the big point. Hmm. Maybe our host, Amy, knows. Oh, Amy! Hi, Funny Man Dan. Do you know today's big point? Of course I do. We all need to be rescued, and God has a plan. Thanks, Amy. We'll see you soon. And I'll see you soon. It's time to strap on your backpacks, test out your binoculars, and fasten your seatbelt. Click! Because today, Funny Man Dan, Max, and you are going on a journey of discovery. But what about today's big badge? Oh, I almost forgot. After today's quest, we'll be earning a big badge. What's today's big badge, Max? The rescued badge. Oh, fantastic. You can wear that badge when I need you, Max. Like when? When I need you to rescue me from the spiders! <laughs> Let's start today's adventure with a big story. Here we go! Beginnings are important, and Genesis, the first book in the Bible, is the beginning of everything. It covers over 2,000 years, more time than any other book in the Bible, and is full of so many amazing stories like Noah and the Flood, and Joseph and his colorful coat. But today we start with the story of the first man and woman ever created. Their names were Adam and Eve. They lived in a beautiful garden God created for them called Eden. Eden was quite simply paradise. They had everything they needed, and most importantly, they walked and talked directly with God. There were many different trees in the garden, but there was one tree in the middle of the garden that was forbidden to eat from. All was going well until one day, while Eve was taking a walk in the garden, a serpent found Eve and spoke to her about this tree. Eve fell into the serpent's trick and ate the fruit, even giving Adam a taste. Then Adam and Eve's eyes were opened to both good and evil, and they ran away from God in shame. God found them hiding from him and asked, Have you eaten from the tree I commanded you not to eat from? This was the start of sin on earth. The rest of the book of Genesis is full of stories about God rescuing His people, like Noah and his entire family protected from the flood. From the beginning of time, God has had a plan to deliver His people from the sin that separates us from Him. There is a rescuer coming as we begin this epic journey through the greatest story ever told. When I was little, I loved going to the library with my grandmother. There, I could find almost any book in the world. The all-time best thing about going to the library was story time. We would sit on huge pillows and listen to the magical voice of the storytellers. <laughs> I laughed the loudest at this story about an old lady who swallowed a fly. So hard my stomach hurt. The best stories have surprises and twists and turns. You never know how they're going to end. The stories in the Bible begin in Genesis. In the beginning, we meet the first characters in the story, Adam and Eve, the first people ever. But Adam and Eve make a very bad choice which caused sin to come into the world and separate them from God. We may not see the plan God has, but it's right there in front of us. The Bible is all about God rescuing people from this mistake this sin. Just like the stories in the library, the Bible is full of great stories with characters just like you and me, full of surprises, twists and turns, and they're all true. Have you ever seen a big lifesaver ring before? Today I'm making a lightsaber made of yarn. All I have to do is wrap it round and round and round and round lots of times. 
Real lightsabers have a long rope attached, so it can pull back to safety people stuck in the water. This isn't a real lifesaver, but it reminds me of Jesus. He saved us when he came to earth. Seeing it every day will help me remember everything Jesus has done for me. Hello, my little lovable Lima. Hi. <laughs> so good to be at church, no? Hi. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, my friend. Oh, but I have had a rough week. No. Yes, on Monday my mother gave me triangle to play with. Oh, it was fun. I love its three points. Points. On Tuesday, mother gave me a square to play with. It was fun. I love its four points. Points. <laughs> on Wednesday, mother gave me a circle to play with. It was boring. I don't see the point. Circle go round and round and round. And round and round and round and round and round. What a great day it's been learning about the greatest story ever told the Bible. The Bible is full of stories about God's love for his people and the power he has to rescue us from sin. God has given us the Bible so we can learn more about him each day. God is not only the author of the most important story ever written, he's also the ultimate hero. Do you want to continue to learn how God has rescued us from sin? Yeah! You do! Well then, I officially present you with today's big badge, the Rescue Badge. Another badge earned, another lesson learned. Bye! Hello. 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 <laughs> we all need to be rescued and God has a plan. Huh? We all need to be rescued and God has a plan? Ah, oh, we all need to be rescued and God has a plan. friends. So I have a favorite verse about how we all need to be rescued. It reminds me that God loves every person and wants them to be saved. Would you like me to share this very amazing Bible verse with you? All right. It's from Romans 3.23 and it says, all of us have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. Every person needs to be rescued from sin and Jesus has made a way. Jesus rescues us from sin so we can be friends with God. That is my favorite Bible verse about God's plan to rescue all people. And I think it might become one of your favorites as well. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Before we go, let's pray together. God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your son, Jesus. And thank you for rescuing us from sin. Help us this day to walk in your love and to remember that you give us all your peace and joy. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me, friends, and I'll see you again next week. Bye! Everybody out there, can you give me one snap?